Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Being Engineer. This video is about technical terms relating to curve. In my previous video, I had discussed in great detail about what, uh, what is curve and what are different types of the curves. Please also watch that video. In this video, we will discuss some of the notations or elements used to describe a curve, which are you can see name of the curve and there are about 15 different notations or elements which are used to describe a curve but before we start our today's topic if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get video updates so let's start our today's topic The first term used in the curve is name of the curve. If the curve turns towards right from center line is called as right hand curve. It's very simple. If a curve turns towards right it is called as right hand curve. This signal is most probably uh, mostly installed on the road sides to provide information about the curve that is coming ahead. And if the curve turns towards left from center line is called as left hand curve. The second term is tangent lines which is also called as straights. The two straight lines AB and BC as you can see here two straight lines AB and BC these two lines which are connected by the curve are called tangents or straight of the curve the line AB and BC are called tangent lines or straights of the curve. Intersection point. The point of intersection of the two straights that is point B. That is the point where two tangents or straights intersect each other is called as intersection point or the vertex. It is also called as vertex. The fourth term is sequence of tangent line. The tangent line comes at the start of the curve with respect to change is called as first tangent line for example line AB. For example line AB the this tangent is called as first tangent line that is it is the tangent line which comes first which comes first if you are proceeding in the direction of the survey line and the tangent line comes at the end of the curve with respect to change is called as second tangent line as you can see here BC is the second tangent line as you can see here as it is represented as TP1 that is tangent point number one is for first tangent line and TP2 is for second tangent line the line CB is called as second tangent line. Tangent point. The points TP1 and TP2 as you can see here TP1 this point TP1 and this point TP2 at which the curve touches the tangent are called as tangent points. The beginning of the curve is T1 as you can see over here it is represented by different notations like TP1 as it is written over here and it is it can also be written as T1 is called as tangent tangent curve point and the end of the curve T2 is called as curve tangent point or the beginning of the curve T1 this point the beginning of the curve T1 is called as tangent curve PC okay it is represented by tangent curve point PC and the end of the curve that is point T2 we are talking about this point this is the end of the curve and it is called as curve tangent point and is represented by PT which means that you can also represent tangent point like TP1 or TP2 or you can also write it as PC that is tangent point 1 or tangent curve point or you can also write it as curve tangent point or PT. 
there are different notations to represent tangent point intersection angle the angle between the tangent lines now the tangent lines we are having over here is tangent line AB and tangent line BC the angle formed between the intersection point of these two tangent lines is called as intersection angle it is obvious from the name deflection angle the angle by which the forward tangent deflects from the rear tangent is called as deflection angle of the curve and it is represented by phi as you can see here this is the exterior angle of the intersection point of the two tangents that is angle by which the forward tangent that is forward tangent is deflecting from the rear tangent the angle formed between the forward tangent and rear tangent that is the external angle and it is, it is represented by phi is called as deflection angle tangent length the distance between the two tangent point of intersection to the tangent point is called as tangent length that is BT1 and BT2 this length BT1 and BT2 is called as tangent length long chord the line joining the two tangent points T1 and T2 is known as the long chord the one you are seeing the straight line between tangent point 1 and tangent point 2 is called as long chord and it is represented by L this is the complete length and it is represented by L and the half of long chord is L by 2 and the other half is L by 2 length of the curve the arc T1 F T2 is called as the length of the curve that is the curve starting from here and ends over at T point 2 that is tangent point 2 this length of the arc is called as length of the curve summit or apex the midpoint F of the arc T1 F T2 is called summit or apex of the curve as you can see here this is the point F this is the midpoint of the length of the curve midpoint of the length of the curve is called summit or apex and it is represented by F apex distance the distance from the point of intersection to the apex of the curve BF is called as apex distance now this is the point B this is the point F or summit or apex of the curve and the distance between intersection point and apex of the curve is called as apex distance which is equal to BF worst sign the distance between the apex of the curve and the midpoint of the long chord EF is called as worst sign of the curve as you can see here the distance between the midpoint of long chord and the apex or summit of the curve that is represented by distance EF is called as worst sign central angle the angle subtended at the center of the curve by the arc T1 F T2 is known as the central angle and is equal to deflection angle the angle over here that is subtended by a arc A F C so or T1 F T2 the angle subtended by this arc is called as central angle and it is equal to deflection angle which I have discussed in the previous slide last but not the least tangent angle what is tangent angle the angle between tangent line and the long chord is called as tangent angle and it is always equal to phi divided by 2 or half of the deflection or central angle as you can see here this is the tangent angle which is formed between the tangent line which is formed between the tangent line and long chord and it is always equal to half of the deflection angle or central angle that's all for today for more videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates